Pouring rain On the heat of that train There she comes Won't you get on Good morning, everybody. I know I am freezing this morning. You gotta get me a good cup of joe. Today is the start of harvest. It is November 2nd. We've all been working our tails off for this very moment. We are finally able to take the fruits of our labor. On top of that, there is something very special being delivered later today, or in a little bit, actually. So we gotta take our little time getting to the other side of the shed, which I'm starting to wish I would have put the other side of the shed on this side, but it does make it convenient for me just to walk in here to my actual office and do my business and walk directly into here to my main work area which i think one of the guys have been already working earlier but we got to go ahead and get everything out of the way i know this thing is showing up here today i've already got the uh, soon to be delivered tag confirm the delivery so they should be here soon and i gotta have this over here warmed up and ready to rock and roll when it does show up so we have also decided what we are harvesting first surprise surprise beans we are doing the beans first so i'm gonna worry about make sure the bean header is hooked up up and ready to roll so we got a backup on in here there we go so that's that hooked up and ready to rock and roll i'm actually going to hmm, when he turns into here he should turn directly right here but so we're going to actually do a quick ue not too fast on one but fast enough to where we can get everything out of the way but i'm going to end up once i get this over here stop for a second call alex see if alex and bri before they get into their own stuff want to come help me out today since it's the start of harvest none of us want to meet up and interrupt harvest Hello. Hey, Alex. Hey, what's happening? I need a favor. You need to win the lottery numbers because I ain't got that for you, buddy. I wish I did. Trust me, I did. I wish I had them as well. <laughs> um, but no, 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 no. So you know how I've been helping you with all y'all's harvest and everything like that for the last few weeks. I mean, last few months, actually. Make sure y'all got everything done. Today, I don't have Yosho nor Hazard. They're both out doing something else. And I need two individuals to come help me out with my harvest just to at least get started with until one of them comes back. So I can have my whole operation rolling instead of just one truck and one uh harvester all right nate buckle your britches we're on our way all right sounds good to me i'm getting everything pulled out ready to rock and roll i know i'm supposed to be getting a delivery here pretty soon but once i get the delivery then we can head out to the field all right, all right see y'all when you get here so nate do we have a green card operator not yet so we don't have a green card operator yet i had somebody else i was gonna call to do that because we're doing beans first it shouldn't be that hard to get stuff started with beans i'm also waiting for my brand new green card to arrive before we start rolling <laughs> Ah, get the old girl started up. This is her moment to shine. Probably some old piece of junk, I bet. Oh, wow. He coming out here with an old taste. Uh, an old piece of junk, of course. All right. So which one y'all think we should set up first? Uh, let's do this one out here on the end. Make it quick and simple. This one right here? Yep. All right. I want to start raising it a bit more. I know. All right, so now once the green cart gets here, all we got to do uh, is set the end of it the way that this piece is coming in. It, what it'll do is it'll sit right here on the ground and have a little hangover right here, and it will just automatically unload until you'll just pull the semis over, unload, and go. I seen somebody use one of those one time on YouTube. I swear I thought that was the coolest thing I ever seen. I'm glad you got one so I can see one work IRL. You know them things are 22 grand? But they're worth it. They might be worth it, but that's $22,000. And, f hey, my phone just said that he just left the dealership with the item, so he should be here pretty soon so let's go wait up front you said this is happy driving yeah yeah it's gonna be another two hours yeah pretty much listen i can hope it's not okay let me enjoy myself stop believing in happy Hello? Hey, Blake. What you doing today? Not a whole lot. You want to come run a green cart or run a combine or something? Sure, I can help out. Uh, I'd appreciate that. We got a new green cart coming in, so I'll probably end up using that for a little bit, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to have another guy here help out, at least run trucks or something. Yeah, I can run trucks. All right. I appreciate it, bud. <laughs> he ain't making that. There's no way he makes that. Bro, he's jackknifed. It's not that he's jackknifed. He's cutting it close, though. He really needs to ride that one side over there. He's actually making it, boys. Look at that. Oh, now I see how this man did not do this did he really i got a question for you what's your question how do you expect me to get this off of here i mean we got like 40 guys over here right we can just pick it up and lift it off right or you got a skid loader right yeah i got a skid loader i must say mighty impressive load you got there happy yeah thank you thank you i still want to know how you made that dot proved illegal nobody saw it there was I no mean, cops no nothing there, made there, it. there is an oversized load sign over here there is yep see the flags on the back the oversized load yep we're good all right let's get this off of here go drop this off over here and then we'll worry about getting that 
other, okay? Alrighty. I'm surprised those two still work with you after the way you treat them. Yeah, where is your other helping hand? I haven't seen him around in a while. You know, because of the way I treat them, I have to give them a lot of vacation. Ah. Uh -huh. Plus, they both get paid extension. They get paid really too well. So that's why they haven't quit. How is it that every time it's busy season come up, they're gone? Because they have unlimited PTO. Starting to regret that decision. That was a very bad idea. I don't want to hear that. Mate, not going to lie, right. my old tractor looks pretty good with these big old fat tires on her. I know. I had to pay four grand for them. Now, what I want to see is I want see this drink cart i've been waiting so long for this thing this thing is huge this thing don't scream america i don't know what does happy you helping it yeah sure i have nothing else to do all right so we gotta knock out basically beans 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 let's start on 19 let's go farthest and come closest okay so we'll head up there i'm taking the john deere up front to start with i'll take the new holland i got the challenger and i'll take the truck please tell me hat bride did not just call that a new holland the yellow i automatically send is a new holland the challenger get it right uh happy you want to drive grain cart I'd rather drive semis, but I think somebody already called uh, Yeah, that. well, you and Alex, you and Alex can both jump in semi trucks then, and Blake can jump into the grain cart. And we're in the semi. Hold on, how many people do I have here? Hey, yeah, uh, you said Alex twice. Hold on, okay, let me phrase it. Right where I told Alex to go last time. Basically, just getting a piece of equipment where you are, you are. Done trying to organize this. Alex, drive slow because that one doesn't really reach all the way down to the ground. There we go. Put those off. I'm gonna let you get hooked up to your header first before I come in. Actually, I can go up and go wider. Yeah, I would. So, depending on where y'all want to sit, boys, if y'all want to sit in the actual field itself or sit over here or sit over in the road, it's up to you. Just make sure you turn around up top and leave me enough room to get right past. Yep, it should be good. Here we go. Okay, so 102. That ain't terrible looking. I'm getting 113 over on this side. Yeah, you're also in the headlands. Our issue is I don't like being in the headlands getting this. I'd rather be in the core of the field. These get more of the heat escape, and they also get more of sunlight. Because all the stuff is going straight to the bin. Yes, everything is going directly into the bin. Bra should be able to fill up one person whenever he goes and dumps. Because he has a 1,300 bushel grain cart now. You want to finish this up down here, or you want me to? Uh, I'm going to finish up this little uh, water droplet. Oh, I didn't know you were right behind me. Yeah. I thought you were still in the main field. No, I switched directions and gave them two passes right there at the entrance of the field for if the semi trust wanted to get off the road or not. If they grab the second trailer and start dropping trailers, they might need it. Hey, Nate, you got your ears on? Yep. Hey, I'm going to uh, start bouncing and racetracking this side over here. All right, sounds good. Bro, right, come to a stop, come to a stop, come to a stop. I've got 11% left in the tank. All right. And that don't even crash the surface. Nope. How full are you? 11%. How many bushels can that thing hold? Hey. A lot. 200,000, I want to say. Really? Uh, or actually, wait a minute. 5,675.6, I think that is, actually. Hey, what are you at? 44. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and go and load it real fast and throw it in our good old truck. Yeah, happy your truck might be ready to go after this. Alrighty. How many loads have we done so far? Just Blake's. Never mind, happy you're still good. How far? It's at 84%. How much of this field have we done? Oh, everything. But then we'll drop down to field 17, which Bri is a green car driver. You'll love it. Why? Why? Because it's a drive. Yeah. All right. Empty you out before the next load. Yep. Uh, Blake, you drove a load over there earlier, didn't you? Yep. How the new system work? Working perfectly fine. Working fine. Good to hear. Good to hear. And we are done with these bean fields over here. We'll right behind you up here, and I'll let Bri unload and I'll unload Bri first, then you can. Yes, sir. Alex, so thank for our sanity. Let's just get. I know Happy said he had a buddy come pick him up. What uh, me and you do? Just leave these out here in the field and worry about them later. All right. Let a lunch break. Lunch break. I'm ready to go to bed. I worked all morning. Yeah, but you're old also. So, hey, no, watch it. Well, for Happy's truck, I'm gonna just put it in the field. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't see the point and not putting it in the field. And we'll take the other two. Mm, do we even need to take the other truck on? You got anything left in your tank? No, that's it. Yeah, we'll leave everything else out here in the field. Let that challenger hold up for you. The challenger held up pretty good. Good to hear. I think the next few fields will be a lot easier to do, especially for like just me and Yosho to say, because I don't see that being too hard for him to keep up, especially with if we get that other kid to come out here and run the other one. Who has her? Uh, well, I, think, I don't know. I, what I've heard is there's, I've heard rumors of him wanting to quit. So he may finally quit. And if he quits, I'm going to hire one of the local neighbors. I'm probably going to get to run a combine. Oh, I got you. Probably going to run this because it's the last year I'm going to have it anyway. Starting to slowly dislike this combine as much as we get her. Not a bad running harvester. It's just... It's not bad running, but it's not great running. Kind of like my gleaner over there. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Kind of intermediate. Exactly. I think Blake said he should be here in a little bit, and there's Brian. 
Yeah. We'll just wait around for Blake to get here and then we'll all go home. Go home, go to bed. Yeah, exactly. Go home, bed. I mean, we got a lot of stuff knocked out. We got two good size fields knocked out. Be curious what they're worth. Actually, you know what? Those bins have a sensor on the floor. I can tell you what they're worth. I'm going to take a guess. 30 grand. I'm going to guess around 57. Both of y'all wrong by a mile. Uh, 100 grand. 150. I'm bad. So we may make our money back off the beans alone. <laughs> not counting the wagon you bought or the is that including i didn't even touch that money uh we'll, we'll break even on the wagon okay well i think boys we're good to go and we'll come back for those harvesters later yep. oh, yeah alex hurry up get there so we can drop these two off i'm ready to go home and go to bed uh, how fast do you want me to drive um yeah i was about to offer to go buy everybody a steak or something but okay yeah let's go for the steak instead where we going we're gonna get a red robin yeah or that's Applebee's? what i was thinking okay Applebee's? sorry i was thinking applebee's okay let's go